Hi, you're watching Short Glass Media. This is our glass where we talk about nerdy, artsy, pop culture things. My name's Rob Davidson. I'm Alan Hughes. I'm Kat Fritzel. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are we talking about today? Today we're talking about popular things that we just don't understand. Okay, um, the thing that I don't understand is just Will Ferrell in general. I, Sorry, Will Ferrell, I don't like you. I don't, I don't like any... I don't, Anchorman, no. See, oddly enough, I, I love Will Ferrell and I enjoy him, but I get where you're coming from. Yeah. Because there's there are moments where I'm like, what? Like, yeah. you're you're just banking on the fact that yeah. you're Will Ferrell and it's going to be funny and great. Yeah. It is funny, but like, I, I'm i not with you, but I get it. I think most people think you're batshit for that, but... Yeah. I no, I get it's it true. too. I, well, but only with Anchorman. Um, I remember I was on my way home, I was flying home from London and it was like an eight hour flight and you have those, you know, those private yeah, TVs yeah. in the front of you, and I started watching Anchorman, and I got about 20 minutes in, and decided that I would rather do nothing <laughs> on a flight home from yeah. London than watch this movie. Wow. I, couldn't, yeah. I couldn't get through it. Wow, I know. I, I know, isn't that no, strange? No. But, yeah. I mean, I like him and everything else, I mean... Well, and then, I, I told somebody that, like, you know, a couple weeks ago, and they were like, no, you have to watch him, like... Three or four times. You have to watch the movie three or four times. And no. then he's funny. And I'm like, no. You it takes three or four to, yeah. times and he's not funny. No, that's That's ridiculous. like what people tell me with Doctor Who. They're just like, oh yeah, you just have to get through the season. I'm like, a whole season? I no. get... Doctor Who is amazing, right? No, I'm, I'm not saying that. I, I wasn't trying to poke any kind of bear. I was just saying, I was equating... <laughs> yes, I was equating <laughs> the situation. Sorry. Well, see, I think with Will Ferrell, what, at least one of the things I like about him is that he he's one of those dudes that just never cracks. Like yeah. he just keeps going, and he's like he's being so ridiculous. Everyone yeah. around him is is cracking and falling apart, and he just does not stop and never breaks. Yeah. And that's part of what's funny is he can just push it yeah. farther than most people can. But well, and, and I'm, I'm kind of like the same way with Steve Carell, not to the that yeah. I'm I'm fan. not as big of a Steve yeah. Carell fan as I am a Will Ferrell yeah. fan. Steve Carell's funny, but he, he he's he funny. But I think I think uh, Will Ferrell, like especially from a standpoint of improv, you just have to admire the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has that skill. Yeah, that he can just go after. Right, and I think, well, I, and I like, I, I appreciate Will Ferrell because he can do, you know, stuff like Buddy the Elf, and that's fun for kids and families, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, and it's appealing to that. But then he does like Step Brothers with John C. Riley, which who's also yeah. the same way, where they just take something and they just mm-hmm. keep going. Oh yeah. yeah. But maybe that's maybe that's part of the problem that you have with it is like the there's like no restraint. Yeah. Well, it is. It's definitely. <laughs> Tangents. It can yeah, and it's definitely like a style of humor that if you don't get it, you don't get it. Like yeah, if it's not right. your thing, then it's not your thing, and yeah. and it's always going to be that. Yeah, so I will, I will never. Yeah, understand. if you don't like it from the start, you're never going to like it. Yeah, never. For me, if we're like that, made me think of just SNL, and I feel like a lot more people are on board with me than would be on board with you. But I don't get Jimmy Fallon. Oh. He makes me want to, I don't know, eat rat poison or something. Like <laughs> he, he, I, he, he just. He irritates the crap out of me. Particularly, I haven't seen his late night show. Maybe that's better. Yeah. And I'll give him that he does a ridiculously good uh, Jim Morrison impression. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Morrison, The Doors, yeah. doing Reading Rainbow. And it's, uh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen it. It's, oh, it's insane. It's brilliant. I'll give him credit where credit's awesome. due. But back in the SNL days, my I just couldn't stand. Like he was well, he always, would always crack. He would always he crack. Like, he and he always the opposite did that of Will Ferrell. Stupid ass look to the camera. Oh, shut yeah. up. The, so yeah. that's. Mind. With Jimmy Fallon, it's like since he since he took over Conan's time slot, like I was kind of like just didn't like him for that reason. Oh yeah, because Conan's then, like, so Conan much freaking awesome. better. Yeah, like, I love Conan. Then yeah, that's yeah. If you don't like Conan, suck it. Yeah. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Right to the <laughs> yeah. we, don't, we don't want you. <laughs> we need you. What about you? I don't. Oh my goodness. Okay, mine. I might get a lot of flack for this. I don't understand the guy facial hair movement. No, no, no. no. Let me premise that by saying I understand Movember. <laughs> yes, as you no, talked to me. I, like, I, I understand Movember, and I think that that's really great. My dad actually did it this year, which mm. I think is awesome because he has not had facial hair in 27 years. Mm. Um, okay. The quick story is when I was two, my dad had a mustache, and he went to give me a kiss goodbye, and I didn't want to give him a kiss goodbye, and. He said, well, what's wrong? I said, I don't like your facial hair. It's all scratchy. So he uh, shaved it off and never grew it back again. Awesome. That yeah. is a good father. Yeah, that's, that's a dad. Love you, daddy. But, but even still, I for some reason, like there's so much with beards now. Oh, that guy's See, having a beard. The and, beards yeah. is my big complaint. The damn hipster beards that are like out to here. Unless is that see, what it is, though? But it, because it, oh, it's it's a, hipster, is it it's a just hipster thing? hipster thing? It's mostly hipster things. Because the only guys that it doesn't bother me are like bikers who ride Harleys. Yeah. And in that case, you're kind of allowed to. Yeah. Well, but like, the, 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 the kind of allowed to. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Like them and ZZ Top, you're the you're allowed to do whatever the hell you want with your face. But I mean, now hair. they have that shirt that like meters your beard. Like if it's oh, down it's here, so it's, it's like a monk. It's a uh, yeah. It's biker or whatever. Yeah, no, it's it's for the most part a hipster thing, without a doubt. Okay, because well, I was wondering, because like, I was like, yeah. it's like Portland came to visit San Diego and never went home. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, so that makes a little more sense. You, you live in North Park. This is like hipster heaven. Oh, dude, I just see gigantic beards everywhere. Yeah. Um, and it irritates, oh, and that drives me crazy because hey, hey, we're in San Diego. Back off my flannel. I look tough in flannel. I've been told. Well, you're a girl. Somehow it's di- it's different. I guess. <laughs> when I see dudes with yeah, a giant beard, yeah, but when I grow a beard, <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> when I see a dude in a giant with a giant beard in flannel in San Diego, California, Ooh, I'm or like, with that with that loose really fitting beanie, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 it's 80 degrees out. Lose the flannel and the beanie. Put a bird like, on it. <laughs> yeah, for goodness' sake. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh yeah, that's, my, that's my one it, that I don't understand. Crazy. What about like people that take pictures of their food and then like put it on Facebook and Instagram? And, I like, have a friend who does that, it, and I asked him about it. And I actually thought I, I asked him. I said I, it was my idea that he should go through the master cleanse where you do the uh, same thing every yeah. time, and then just put like a different wash on it every time he puts it up. Just the same picture because that's really <laughs> uh, what you're having. Yeah, I don't get that one either. Did he, did he explain it to you? Like, did he have an explanation yeah. as um, to why? Oh, or? gosh, let me see. Um, he said something about, like, the uh, admiration for presentation. Because sometimes he'll take a picture when he's at a restaurant. Yeah. And so something like that. But then he's also, he also is a, a good cook. Mm-hmm. And so is proud of what he True. creates. Yeah. And I told right. him, I said, I took one picture of food. I didn't put it up because I was very proud when I started cooking that I'd made a chicken pot pie and it was so delicious. And then I realized... That all it looked like was the top of a pie. So yeah, it was that the point make of a very impressive picture. It, it, yeah. it, precisely, and when it was served, it looked awful. It tasted delicious, but so yeah. I think I think it was his um, yeah. admiration for the presentation, like stuff that's plated well with like yeah. The green but like on Thanksgiving, when people are like, look at what I'm eating, I'm like, that's what everybody's eating yeah, it's, today. It's just, like it's just weird. It's like like this is the food that I'm about to eat. Ah uh-huh. ha. Well, uh, it's it's kind of a sign of how voyeuristic we become as a like with Facebook and stuff. Like that's how much we want to see what other people are doing. We want to see what you're eating. Like it's a little creepy. <laughs> and I think that's why I've avoided doing that because there are some like there are like I'll get a good really good looking pint of beer. Honestly, like you get a pint I was of beer. Say, like, you oh, gotta that wait. looks yeah, that looks say, good. Or a plate say. of food where it just looks like an amazing meal. And there's a part of me that kind of wants to like share that with the world. Like this looks amazing. Right. But then I'm like. The world doesn't need to know what I'm eating right now. Exactly. Like they really don't need to know that. So we're gonna keep that to myself. And, Although sometimes yeah. you know I'll be going through and I'm just kind of like, what am I gonna have for dinner? And then somebody puts something up. I'm like, oh, that does look good. Like every now and then I'm like, yeah. I didn't know I wanted tacos. No, See, I, I, I would actually understand it. And I don't even do Pinterest really all that oh, much. Oh, I don't either. But I would understand it more on Pinterest because that's sort of a forum like of cool point. things. Well, I, and like people will put recipe, like a picture of a meal with a recipe. With a recipe. Yeah. And I'm like, oh wait, that's rad because then people could. Yeah. Can go or, there or and, like the and different try. styles of food. So like if you're yeah. looking up, you know. But the, when you're doing it on like Facebook and Instagram, it's a whole different thing. Yeah. And I'm with you on that. I don't. I don't understand that at all. What makes it? What makes a beer look look good compared to like other beers? <laughs> um. <laughs> so it's a good question. It, it, it really is taste. Because well, that's what you said. <laughs> I know. I know. It, it. There's no universal answer for that. We'll say that. Like if you're someone who likes dark stout beers, seeing a pint of like. A light colored beer, you'd be like, yeah, it looks like crap. But me, I love pale ales and stuff that tends to be crisper and lighter. So I see a pint of like dark yellow beer with just a nice little head on top. No. And when you see the condensation on the glass. See, again, um, one of those situations beautiful. where you're like, I didn't know I wanted a beer, and now I saw this great picture, and like, I, I must have a beer. Now right? I have <laughs> a beer. Nice and healthy. So yeah, that's, that's what makes a great looking beer. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else that you just don't understand? Any movies or any uh, TV shows that people are? Mine is one of mine is like all the reality shows. Oh like, yeah, I don't know. those just... those freaking baffle me. Like the, it's a, I mean, that any, could be a whole other hourglass. Honestly, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's we, 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 in fact, I think we should do that. We should do an, a reality show hourglass. Yeah, we should. We're brainstorming here with you people. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say, and yeah, I'll yeah, be the contrast because there are quite a few reality shows that really? I actually like, kind of enjoy. Well, like. Wife person likes she watches everything basically on um, the TLC, oh. and, and which, oh, which stands for the Learning Channel, and I I think they need to <laughs> because Honey Boo needs, needs to learn a couple away. of things. 
<laughs> that needs to be taken away. And the, come yeah. on, let's come up with a new the name. Lordy, oh my god. That'll be the not... question of the day, actually. Oh, okay. Come up with a new name for TLC. <laughs> there yeah. you go. We're, we're officially stripping them of the learning There's channel. No They're not allowed to have that. No. If, you, if you have Done. Gypsy Wives, Honey Boo Boo. As soon as you have Honey Boo Boo, you're not allowed to be the learning channel the anymore. Learning channel. It was before that, though. It wasn't before Honey Boo Boo was the whole Toddlers and Tiaras thing. I yeah. think that was the learning channel. Oh, that came before? I yeah. think so. I guess Honey Boo was the first one I heard of. Oh, oh no. Uh, there's, there's. Just well, thank God. I mean, apparently, yeah. I've been saved for some, right. some, some terrible stuff. I mean, yeah. The, all the, they have a lot of stuff with gypsies now. And stuff. I just don't Boy. understand. I, well, I don't get it either. I guess I, I, I was gonna say. I guess I don't get those ones. I mean, I like the um, reality shows that are, um, like, I love The Amazing Race. Yeah, I uh, think that's really see, fun yeah. to watch I because a, they, I don't have a problem with those. I guess I just don't get them. I've actually never seen The Amazing Race. I don't know if that makes me good. It's yeah, fun. I like, I mean, they, they do different, like, not cultural things, but they'll do, like, different challenges have to do with the culture yeah. that they're in. And well, seeing the traveling. Watching, and, yeah, yeah the like traveling, that. watching I, I different people that. experience yeah. different cultures. Yeah. Sometimes it's cool because they have an amazing response, and other times you're just like, oh my gosh, you're the worst person on the planet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just kind of a thing. That's like half the people on reality shows. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so that's the end of Hourglass. If you like it, like it, subscribe, subscribe, and favorite, and all that fun stuff. Subscribe it. Subscribe it. <laughs> <laughs> Words I argue with. <laughs> so I'm Rob Davis. I'm Alan. I'm Kat Fritz. Term, that's a new term. <laughs> we are starting the scribing trends. We're stripping TLC and we're, and we're starting the scribing, scribing trend. When you like it so much that you want to like and subscribe and everything else you can do all at once, <laughs> you're scribing. You're scribing. There we yep. go. There you go. That's it. See, you're actually a genius. Boom. Yeah. genius. Boom. <laughs> Where's Carrie? She could have made this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's not something like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom. <No. laughs> Seriously. The word sound effects crack me up. Oh my gosh. Fiddle, 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 f